The world is shrinking. In these days of global communication, we are all interconnected, and the amount of information circulating is huge. To give you an idea, every day the equivalent of roughly 150 billion books is transported via the internet. Even though wireless devices and satellite connections have grown massively in recent years, most data travels through optical fibers. Today there is enough optical fiber deployed on Earth to circle it 35,000 times. And this length is set to double within the next decade. Every second, five kilometers of fiber is being installed. A single fiber can transport the equivalent of 250 DVDs per second over oceanic distances. Each one of these fiber optics is as thick as a human hair. There are one and a half billion kilometers of fiber on Earth. That's the distance between here and Saturn. French inventor Emmanuel de Survire, along with colleagues Randy Giles and David Payne, came up with the optical amplifier in 1987. This revolutionized global communication, speeding up the transfer of data through optical fibers and paving the way for high-speed internet. Prior to this, optical fibers could only transmit light over a distance of up to 100 kilometers. For this achievement, Emmanuel de Survire has been nominated for the European Inventor Award, which will be handed out in May. Les communications optiques, c'est un réseau Optical communication is a network of optical fibers through which different color light signals travel, transmitting impulses from the Internet. This is how it works. This is a fiber optic before it was reduced to the size of a hair through fusion. Light travels through this fiber. It's injected in one end and comes out through the other, slightly diminished from the journey. The problem is that after a certain distance, the signal is too weak to establish an internet connection. So the idea was to trap some erbium inside the fiber. It's a chemical agent which can stock energy if stimulated by a small laser. When the signal travels through the fiber, it picks up this energy. This is the laser device which amplifies the light signals. It is placed along the optical fiber cable each hundred kilometers. The signal va pouvoir the signal covers a distance of 100 kilometers before it meets another amplifier, and so on until it's crossed an ocean as large as the Pacific, for example. Thanks to this invention, optical fiber cables can now transport high-speed data around the world and across the oceans. This invention has increased fiber optic transmission capacity by a factor of 100,000. So what does it feel like to be the first to come up with something new like this? You never invent something from scratch. There were always great people before us who had ideas but didn't see them come to fruition the way we did thanks to new technology. So we go one step further and, as they say, climb onto the shoulders of a giant. Worldwide demand for high-speed internet connectivity has expanded drastically. Today, activity on YouTube alone is the equivalent of total internet traffic in the year 2000, none of which would have been possible without the optical amplifier.